That's good. How to respond to a rickroll. Wham. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't need it that loud. Oh, sorry, Galaxy. It's good to see you. I mean, or hear you. So, to see you in chat. There we go. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. I'm pretty beat today. Um, but I want to do a bit of box opening. I did receive one yesterday. Uh, small, and then I picked up somebody else today. That's the Armada. Armada. Armada Megatron. Yeah. And then I've had Nemesis sitting under my desk for about a week now in the box. I haven't taken her out of it. And I picked up Dirge uh, not too long after I got Nemesis. So I'll be opening her up last because she's big and I don't have a lot of space here. So, but I'm going to open up the Littles first and meet Flip. Uh, should be able to do this. And do I have, I don't have a. I don't have a webcam thing to turn on. I gotta add that to my stream deck. There we go. Yeah. These are the other ones. And I actually do have this Bumblebee. Well, a version of him. Dusty. So there's a version of him, but the there's little differences. So this one's this one came with a uh, spike. A mini version spike. I'll keep these guys down here so I can, I'll set them off to the side. But uh, I need my tools. I just forgot to set up everything else already. So, yep, I got Dirge. Dirge. He is right here. I'll show you. Hey, Dirge. Dirge. There you go. Nobody look at that. That's okay. It's, I do get it for less, but I found him over at one of our game stops, so over the hill. I have to drive like an hour and a half just to get to that one. And they are the ones that usually have Transformer stuff in. Let's pull this open. This is a, here, let me, the small versions of Optimus with his trailer. And he actually has the little stuff, but he comes with Bumblebee. Yes, Bumblebee. This Bumblebee does have a little pistol, too. It's right there. That's where it gets stuck uh, when you have them in that form. But this Bumblebee is just a little different style. Yeah. Oh, here, let me grab the instructions. Wow. That's some thick instructions, too. I moved my keyboard in there. I actually had to take all my stuff off my desk because I'm actually trying to set up something new. You guys won't see it, but it's just another. Uh, my wife got me a monitor and it's way bigger than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna get Bumblebee out. We're gonna take a look at Bumblebee. 
this version of Bumblebee. Gray wheels, gray hands. This one's sorry, a little dusty. Black wheels, black hands. But little slight differences. Gray. These are not full silver, but they're lightly gold. <laughs> And the windows are not. See, this one's got more of a shine. This one is flat blue, but it does shine. But they're identical. So I'm gonna set this bumblebee right here. Get all put them in this out. Hey Venom, how you doing? Yep, yeah, go ahead, Galaxy. You do your thing. You go find that stuff. I like seeing the stuff you guys have. And you can show. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, here's tiny off there. That's, wow. He really tiny. A small version. So this is yeah. Here's his trailer. Wow. Well, this is supposed to open somehow. Yeah. Okay, I don't have fingernails, so. Oh, that's good, Ben. Oh jeez. Okay, let me do this. I'll set that there. I'm, I get excited with some of the stuff. So let's pull that out. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to set this stuff out of the way. And then that and... Yeah, cut it open. Unfold, unfold. You can usually just tear into this. But this is the smalls, so... Oh my god, it is a roar! Sorry. Oh my god, look at it. He's so small. Look at that. And the wheels actually roll. Oh my god, he's so tiny. Five millimeter ports. And oh, here's uh, the plate. I, think, eh, I gotta look at the instructions for that. Oh, there's Optimus's gun and Inner John Battle Axe. And this is Bumblebee's pistol. And oops. This goes can get mounted under here. Because it's identical other than coloring to the other one I got. And I got this one a while ago. So this came as a set. So these guys came together. I saw them in a Ross. And I said, oh cute. I'll pick them up. I like the way Bumblebee looked. And um Spike does transform. He literally his transformation is put his arms back, flip this back, that's it. So now he's his little rocket form. <laughs> kind of dorky. I just leave this one. This thing is so tough. It's in my Discord messages. <gasps> and I can't hear Discord messages because it silences them. Oh, that is sweet. Nice work. <laughs> nice work. I gotta but yeah, oh, sorry, let me get <laughs> I like looking at the artwork. Um, but you can see this pistol is just the same spot. And it's also the same, just gray and black. So, and yes, the wheels do roll on them. So, he doesn't roll the greatest, but, but give you a lot of tissue paper. So, if you want to crack me, <laughs> or uh, you need it for a gift box. Crash down. But look at the size of this roller. And here's the fun part. I think, if I remember right? Yep, there it goes. Because you could do the same thing with the actual roller, too. Ian. King Rubber. Oh my god, that's funny. Alright. Um, let's see. This. And this. I think this goes on Optimus somehow. I'm not going to look at the instructions. I'm going to mess this thing up just the way I am. So I think it sits. Yep, it goes over his feet. And you see, and there is a peg under here. So peg and peg hole. So that's usually where you would put his blaster. Drew. That used to really mean style. G1, secret. yeah. Okay, so this gives him a flat plate. It actually sits in the groove. And that allows, and there's a egg on the trailer and it just kind of sits in there it doesn't actually mount to him or anything 
Doesn't roll with the greatest, but gives you the idea. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't help myself. So, let's see. And then it has kicks the, the, um, the, those stands. So it does have a stand piece that, uh, the legs for positioning the trailer. And then you can take that back off. I wonder if this might shield or something you could turn it into. So, so this, I can tell right off the bat, this is probably going to flip the legs around. So, but let me see if I can show. I'm gonna try this without instructions and see what happens. See my torture on. Oh, little hands. Oh, he's got a little. He's got tinier ports on his arms. So these do swing around, but they. His hands. He's got one on the back of his hand and one here. So what that's made for is. Touch, energon battle axe. Bring his hand out. It pops in. There's a little lock there. We're going to pop this up. This flips around. Uh, uh, grab his... Okay. Okay, dude. Your head is... Okay. For my big old fingers, I can't do that. You can push from the back lightly. Push it forward. Oops. There we go. Well, that's a little weird. It's white right there. It's a little odd, but so far, okay. So this flips up. I bet you this, oops, flip that back up. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I just rotated his upper torso right here. So he's actually got some posability. He's got a little bit of movement. No, he does have elbow movement. And you can. Oops. And if you're not me. Okay, nobody saw that. I'm going to have to miss Sturge. I'm tired. Of Go get some rest if you're not still in the chat. Okay, kiddo? Um, yeah, I'll have this posted up. I'll try to remember to put it up. Otherwise, just remind me so you can see it. Uh, I might put links in there to Discord so you can just grab a hold of it and watch it later. That way you can get some rest. I'm gonna have two after this anyway too. So, but there, there's Tiny Optimus. Now, Bumblebee is not the same, but um, we gotta take this. Let's take the blaster out. You can usually leave it for a little bit because see, you can do this. Pop him up, open his waist, turns open here, and these are his feet. So you take these and wiggle them apart. There you go. There's his feet. Uh, I think that's what it was. Yeah. And then this, these parts open up. And from the way. Yep. Yeah, um, can get his arm to swing. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong piece. Eh. See, these all pop apart. I'm good. So now I'm going to pop it back into socket. There's a little ball joint back here, but you got to get a hold of it. So this little ball joint right here pops out. And I did this with the other one I had to. So you're literally taking these pieces and you're folding them back. But you got to swing. There it goes. Ah, see, and I did it again. See this little ball joint right here is... There we go. It actually holds fairly well. But what I'm going to do is when you do this... I'm gonna, whoops. This flat panel... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, fold his upper half over and then fold the panel under as you go around so it f slips up underneath. So now his arms come around. He's got a little bit small forearm, but you don't, you know, you're not too picky about it. So this little blaster goes in his hand. It's in his hand. In his hand. There we go. Okay, I got his hand. So now he's got a little blaster. And these technically you can fold out like this so it makes it look like that bumblebee. But I kinda just keep them out of the way. You can put them like this though. It looks it makes them look a little bit. But see he's got the I like the head look. It makes him look a little better. 
So if he'll stand up. Now let's see, the trailer it says to and I'm not looking so I'm gonna fold up actually I don't think this comes off at all or does anything. Alright. I don't have any nails. And I'm just giving a little pry. That's all I'm doing. There we go. So the this can stay like this or so it allows, I'll use the other bumblebee. You can you can actually put bumblebee inside and he fits. Now inside of here, oh yeah, more cardboard. Oh, let's see that too well. More cardboard in there. So this, here it goes, opens up, just the holder, open it, open it, yeah. Oh, yeah, this does come off, which is hilarious, when you do a couple things. Now this is what I think is really neat, it has the little arm, and in the little arm, there's a little peg hole, so you can actually like put another blaster there or something, but, there we go. Okay, there's a little peg to hold that one. Now, it makes the trailer. And then... Now, it doesn't have a way to pop roller out like in the uh, G1. Uh, Optimus' trailer where it, and it pops out. So, But he sits in here. But also, roller can... If you set this like this... You can actually tow around the trailer like he does. But... The trailer also does, so you can stand it up, and it's Optimus's repair station. So you can actually break it down a little bit. Sorry, I'm going to dust the camera here. Sorry, my desk is a little barren right now because I moved my transformers out. There we go. Turn on the light. So, so it turns into a little repair platform station where you can stand and get maintained or fixed up you can see all this stuff they actually put where they're seating but it's all fixed. it's not completely flat but you get texture there it's actually pretty cool so this that's pretty neat a simple little thing like this yeah you can even but yeah these are the you fold it down and then the arm can fold back up, put that down, and then we'll do that. It just it kind of clicks together, so it's cute. So, like I said, though, you can put Bumblebee in. You can't put Roller in there. You do that. There's no room for both. So, so it's a good Bumblebee can come out. So I'm gonna put Roller back in here. For a moment. I'm gonna put it in the trailer. And it just looks not really strong. So I'm going to take a look at the instructions real quick. Because <laughs> I want to see, uh, oh yeah, his um, uh, blaster. Oh, on. He's a little stiff. But, uh, and then I don't know exactly where that goes. If it's another part of Bumblebee or something. Shows the little blaster Bumblebee has right here. This little, little one right here. So I just wanted to challenge myself to see if I could transform it without too much trouble. So we're gonna take a look at this guy. Maybe they gave us another blaster or something. Oh. I guess if you took the turret out the inside of this, that are the uh, station. You could actually um, have room for roller. Oh yes, there. Just see it in the instruction. There is another spot for that part to sit. Well, wait a second here. I'm unfolding the instruction. So, the piece they gave here also doubles as a shield. So I was right with that. I was looking at it, and I'm like, hmm. It doubles as a shield. So you hold. You will hold it like this. And it, oops, and the back side of his hand has a peg hole here, so we're just gonna, there we go. So, he can literally, oh, I do this, 
Let's take these off. So it, it's easier if you do this. So I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna fold his fist up. So it puts the peg hole right there. There. Now it holds better. So now he's got a shield. So that's pretty cool. So they took this piece that hooks the trailer onto him, made it into a shield piece. That's actually kind of cool. I just need to find out where that little tiny blaster goes to. There must be another one for Bumblebee. But uh, before I do that, I'll show you the trailer again here real quick. I don't have fingernails for this. So. I have to use this little exact one. I have to, and I just slip it in. I'm not doing any damage. So, take the roller out. I'll put it back up. I forgot. There is another position for this. So you can take it out like this. So it can sit like this even. But if you take it, oops. Again, he pops off of there. And bring it up here. Let me stick this back on here. And it literally can sit like this. And still, because this can shoot and bounce because it's got two little lasers. It's really kind of cool because it's like you got options. And yeah, you can turn this around. But here's what's cool though, too, is you can take it off of here and mount it to a roller. So it gives literally like a tank mode almost to roller. Because you can put somebody here, you can transport people underneath. It's actually kind of neat. Oops. There we go. So it does have options. So when Optimus is even in his truck mode, this can sit like this, facing forward instead. And he has another turret. Oh, it says this can also... See, and it pops right off. I didn't break it. It's 5 millimeter. Now there's little marks up here. Little pegs. You can actually... Get it up. There we go. Slid it in. And I'm going to turn that back around. And it folds back down. Now it's up on top. So you have multiple positions for this. You can see one is the trailer where it pops up. It can be moved about and placed on the truck. It are on the trailer itself so you have lots and lots of options here to mess with it oh excuse me i did not see that i wasn't paying attention to that part so inside the trailer i do apologize i'm jumping ahead because i did it i want to take that piece off of this we're going to open the trailer back up i want to open it up set it like this i did not notice these i wasn't paying attention and this so you can take his blaster, and there's that and this right here. The next to each other. Oops. And now, oops, on his blaster, if you look, there's two the bl blue pegs. You can line them up on here. And there we go. Ta da! And it stores them out of the way. Oops. That's it. Back up there again. And then there's the little blaster, too. It shows a spot for it right next to it. Get it out from under that stupid shield. There we go. There we go. And then we put it down in here again. Find the peg holes. And if you're not me. Okay, it says to go the other way. I'm sorry. Hmm. The little one is a little harder to do. Okay. And supposed to and it's supposed to kind of sit down in there. Okay, so it does that. Okay, and this technically, what it does is it gives the standing armor marks. So, uh, uh, if I take his battle axe off, there we go, put his hand back up, there we go. Fix his legs. He is kind of butt and heavy because of his back wheels back there. So now, take the battle axe, and that should mount. Sorry, somebody's doing something in the background, making more. Uh, and there's little pegs on the front of this. 
So it's literally his armament and everything that can go inside the trailer. And then you can have all this set up on top. So, and then he can be standing here being repaired, monitored, checked. Roller can be doing his little thing. <coughs> little tiny thing. It's so small. But it doesn't say on here. Oops. Okay. I'm trying to look for the instruction. Hmm. It doesn't say on here. So it's another little pistol thing he has. A little blaster of some sort. I guess you like you could give it to Bumblebee or somebody else. <coughs> but yeah, there's the uh, Energon battle axe. So we're going to pull this back over here. That pre I'm going to put this all back down inside of here. And so you can see it'll fold up with all that in there, which is really cool. So, and if you do that, here, open this up. I'm going to turn up the light here so you can see inside. You can see it sits, it's not sitting down all the way either. So, there we go. So there's a little peg in there that you can but you can close it up the roller can still sit in there so you can store all of his stuff inside this trailer close it up now that closes up pretty well so you could probably yeah and then do this if you have a problem with it so a roller kind of just sits in there and bounces around so let's see if i can transform him back real fast okay his upper torso had to turn Sorry for the noise. There we go. Pop that in place. Pop that in place. And we do that. And we pop this around. We're sliding these around. And bring his legs back up. Now there's pegs back here on his legs that line up with those pig holes. So they're in the part of his arm that is there. And then we swing this up. Now, the way he's supposed to go, uh, oops, oh, I believe, you know, I'm supposed to swing this up in place first. So, so we gotta swing that whole torso piece. Then we put the arms down there. This is actually very, I think almost the same transformation as his uh, little legacy version anyway. Uh, I'd have to get him out to see. And yeah, it just kind of... And then the legs do click together. Yeah. And he, yes, he does have a little canter to his legs. Then we're going to straighten him out. And then you take this shield piece, which it's cool they had a shield. And... Slide it in there. There's the peg in the middle that lines this up too, but it sits across his legs, and then there we go. And if I transform Bumblebee, it's the same thing. You can see the other version, the black version I have here of him. Take the little blaster off. Now, I, you could technically put that away as you're transforming it. I have a tendency not to because I might mess it up as I try. We take this one, put it here. These come down. And if you do this wrong, like I did, it should end up push back in here. Uh, I'm messing it up already. Because the door is supposed to line up. Lining up because I think his head is slightly in the way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this does kind of get not the greatest to park, so um, should line up 
There it goes, that's better. And it should click all into place. So, push this down, do the same thing. And see, this is the tough part, is these little ball joints right here actually collide with these. So right in here, it collides with those joint pieces right here. And that's why it's a little bit of a pain in the butt when it does it. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna fold them down, put them back against the front end. We're gonna push hips back. And I just got brought to the my life agents our 23rd anniversary today too. So we went out earlier, got milkshake, did a few things. Like um, Armada Megatron. So I figured I'd open one. So now you pop them back into place. And these should all kind of, there should be grooves and stuff that lock in. Now I know everybody can go see these elsewhere. I don't, I don't well, because hey, learn about how they transform. Maybe they got a trip, tip or trick or something. I don't have. I don't know everything about these guys. So some of these I do know, some I don't. Uh, actually, uh, Galaxy Star, who's not here right now, she went to sleep. She's in the chat. She actually pointed out something with, um, I forgot his name. He's uh, one of the flyers. Uh, oh, he hacks us. Um, a little piece on him that prevents it from folding behind when he is transformed. You can actually detach it and put it elsewhere on his, the, on his jet mode which actually makes them look better to me. So I like that, and I thank her for that because that was a really cool point. So yeah, see, here's the two. This one I got like six months ago, maybe eight months ago. I got this one quite a while ago, and this one I just got today. This was just released, and if you look, the lights are not exactly the same. Headlights, you can see a, just a slight difference in the camera. The windows are different. This one's got more of a gloss than this does. It has gloss, but it's like window blue. And he's gray. His bumper is gray. This one's black. This one's gray. And I got Witwicky with this one. And I got Optimus with this one, which they can both fit inside if you take all the stuff. So he'll probably get displayed up along with these bumblebees and Sam. So I'm gonna set them up here because they're so small. I can just scoot them out of the way. Hopefully they won't be in the way too much. I may have to move them because... Yeah. But we're going to move on to Dirge. So he's a bit bigger, so I'm going to bring the camera back. Um, you guys tell me in comments if you like the camera more down at this angle. Uh, I know it's kind of annoying up in the air looking down. Um, kind of tell me, you know. I'm trying to get a better setup of a, like a set so that way you guys can see this better because I mean here's Dirge yes yeah but I, I'm a pro member um I actually do get these actually cheaper too a lot too, than what it says on there so I'm gonna open this up from the bottom be easier um oh before I do here oh sorry about the ring lights come on camera if anybody wants to try and scan that with the app or just a, a QR code uh, scanner, you can look up his stats and stuff. So, oops, let's get rid of that. And then we're going to slide it out face down. There's his instructions. I'm going to set this up inside. That QR code on it. So, there's instruction. Very small. We'll set that there. Now, I always check make sure you check your packaging like i know you might be excited you get one for birthday christmas or present or somebody just gives me one always check your packaging because there might be something sitting right here and you get this all out of here you get all these and then there's you look at the instructions oh no i'm missing a piece could be still on the packaging and here's this null rays they look identical they're just black, you know, pull them out. 
There we go. Oops. What's it? There we go. So that's what these are. And then we're going to cut dirt down in here. It's got a nice color palette, from blue, dark blues to purples. The gold is a nice touch to them. There's another one. I'm going to pin in his hands and arms down. So we're going to wiggle them out. And then we got these back here. Careful of taking them out of the packaging, too. Because you could break it or pop something out. You can always pop it back in, which is nice. There we go. I'm going to pop him out. There we go. I'm going to sit up there. Excuse me. I am going to take a bite of salad. It's a little too big. I apologize. I'm getting too good. Mmm. 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 Hmm. All right. Big circuit. Now, mm, mm, mm. now it says to take these from right on his shoulders. There we go. Let's see his articulation. He's got leg movement. Oops. He has the ankle, so you can. Actually, pose them. Arm, set. Let's see, you got bicep twist. Elbow. Let's see. Oh, well, he does have a little head movement. I love the look on his face, though. Uh, uh, So, pretty much the way he is posed, is when you sit like this, everything. So we take these off right now. So, Ta da! All right, I'm gonna take a quick sip of something. No, 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 it's not best choice, but. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Also, uh, I uploaded our session from Friday. It should be up on the site on YouTube today, like right now. I just got it up there. So, all right, we're going to transform it. When it says to flip, wait, flip. Oh, this way. Right. What? Oh, okay pull forward so these pull forward so nee, nee, nee. i've got more lighting too sitting here so i'm hoping that might be a little better maybe i don't know i can turn this one up but it it's all white light like really bright white light uh sometimes i will try a natural coloring light because it's a little softer it also doesn't wash them completely out so it says to flip the hands up like this so it looks like that and wait, what's this say to me? okay uh push this forward so what we're doing is this there's a peg here there we go and you line it back up and it's pushes the arm in so see it's a peg like piece and then you just tip it a little bit and it'll slip you just a little slip and it pops in it even shows right here on the instructions so can we do that we push these back with a fist and it did and then push these back down I don't know why I just didn't do that all the ones we have. Now we take the nose cone and we bring it up over top of his head and it clicked. So it actually is holding in place. So we're starting to see the, the actual jet motor. Okay, 
So now it says to push right here. I'll hold it. But there is tabs. This is the seekers part too. Um, Starscream has it, uh, a couple of the others. There's little tabs on each side of this. So just kind of a little pride, not hard. This tips down. And then it says to take the nose cone and kind of bring it up and out. So there's a dual joint piece here. Yes, it does rotate. So mine's loose, <laughs> pretty loose. Oops, sorry. I want to leave them up against there while I flip the instructions. Now I could probably do this without too much trouble. So now while it's kind of up, we're going to rotate this around. There's a little slot piece. See, it's going to line up with back here. So you do this. Ta-da. Now we're seeing the top part. We're starting to see more of it. Now I just did that without looking at the instructions, but we got to take the arms. We're going to take those now. We're going to fold them in and they should kind of go in fairly. Mine is really stiff. That one. Um, try not to force too much. There it goes. Okay, it's just caught. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, see now it should sit. And then this should pull back down and cover all that. Good. There it will. Is another question. There we go. Just work it into place gently, not too hard. And it will pop right in. Okay. Now, his legs, we're going to move to, and it says to push them together or push, okay, there is pegs, like little peg pieces back here, it'll, here, yeah, right there, they're both cantered to each other, so they're not on each other, they just slide past each other, click into place, so, we're still on the side, so we're going to flip, I think it's, Yep, these down, just like the others. And what we're going to do is this whole section is going to get pushed forward like that. Oops. Yeah, should be. There it goes. So it should sit. These pieces right here should kind of go down and in. And then you got to wiggle the wings a little. Make sure. And then you can slide those out of the way just a little bit. You don't want to fold them completely. Now there's pegs right there. I just popped them in and then we're going to make sure this sits down. There we go. And then I already did that. Now back here, these just like that. Real simple, real easy. Now these pieces right here, you fold down and you push, kind of fold it. And this should have a slight notch right there. It's a small one and it just kind of grabs it. There you go. It's not real strong, so it's going to move if you're not careful. So you, you, you can see how it goes together. Now we're going to flip them over. And then five millimeter ports for the... There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. would know these better, weapons better than I do. But at least they're here right now. See. Uh, but here you go. Uh, here is Dirge like the color nice Ooh, sorry okay. now he is more yellowish it's actually what you guys are seeing is close but the, in the camera i don't know what it looks like for you fully other than what i see on my screen this is like a yellowish orange but it's actually not bad with the coloring he has right now so he's got some nice a few nice little accents in here and there uh yeah he does have uh, the full nose cone thing going on here. And you can see he, he will literally just, he sits there. He can, it's not bad. So, there you go. That one's for you, dog. See, <laughs> when you watch this, you'll see it. But yeah, there's Dirt. He'll go up with the other Seekers. I'm going to set him up here. Here. Actually, he's probably going to get knocked off. <laughs> I'm going to set him back. There, there we go. Look at the instructions. All right, where is he? Okay, we're going to go to somebody a bit bigger now. We're going to go to... I got to bring the camera back a little bit. Oh, no. 
I gotta readjust, sorry, for the movement. So, he's big box. So, you see, now, uh, good friend Baja has him and showed me last night, I think it was, or the night before, his transformations and what he has to deal with. So, I'm gonna see if it's the same thing or not. So, we're gonna open him up. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna do him from the bottom. Oh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. QR code. So you can pause it and they're not like dedicated to specific people. That would be uh they would have to really tell you because that would really stink if they didn't tell you. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna bring them out. What food here? There we go. All right, instructions. All right. All right, let's set this out to the side. I'll collapse those down later. Wow. And up here in the corner, again, check your packaging. Make sure you have all your pieces, too. So let me cut him free. So he didn't come in bot form, he came in his alt mode. Oops. Remember to comment it, like, or not like, but up there, that's up to you. Um, do the videos, come to the Twitch channel and watch our D&D campaign uh, that we have going on. This next Friday should be Destiny, as well as things don't go south. Our players have been pretty busy, as it has, myself has been. Um, so, wow, he's got some weight to it, too. I'm going to have to remember right this should. That? Yeah. So, there we go. Now, let's see. He does the same thing Bajaz does. So, this is for the transformation. That's what, You can't go all the way. There's no 360. I would have rather it be 360 because then it would have been tank like for sure. Now he said his, yep, it's the same. So those will come into play. Um, he does have little wheels down here. You can hear them when I move. That's the greatest. Sorry, I won't do that too much. That's going to be But yeah, you can see his tank mode. It's actually not that bad. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't really watched like much of G uh, Armada because I have I'm older, so I'm used to G1 stuff, and maybe some like Prime. I like Prime. Uh, G1 Armada, it's the dialogue and how they do things. Why are you standing there getting blasted and not moving? You're sitting there doing a monologue of stuff. Shut up and step out of the way. Sorry, that's me personally. <laughs> it does drive me up a wall. So, we're going to leave that on there. Uh, I'm going to start transforming him. I do like his look, though. Actually, this is uh, reminiscent of the coloring of some of the G1 figures for Combaticons, even, to me. Because my friend, uh, best friend, a long time ago, he would uh, he had Combaticons. Now, this friend Baja said these. Oh, yeah, mine come off, too. Looks like so. So far, this is all the same. So I figured that would be. So step one, it says to come back here, and we're gonna fold these out. They're a little notched there. Okay, so it's, there we go. Okay, that's tough. Okay, don't be afraid of it too much, but check it as you're doing that. That was tough. All right, so it says down here these. Says to okay, so I just it says to lift them up, and then they're supposed to. Oh, I see, it's supposed to help pry them out, so it makes these come out like this. So these are like legs, yep, that's what it's for. Okay, and then it says to take these straight out like this. Oops, I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Oh, okay, you do fold them down. So they fold down. Oh, they fit right in. A little 
notch right there and everything. Pops right in. <laughs> He's doing the snitch, dude. And then dudes like that. Mine are kind of loose-ish, but they're not super loose. Just loose-ish. Okay, so 180 around. We're going into the turret. So it's straight up. It swings out on this hinge. That was in wow, that is interesting. Torso movement. Okay, cool. All right, sorry if I bumped the camera. It's right almost next to my head. So, uh, okay, torso. We're going to grab the leg part. It says to rotate them around, so that makes sense because this is the front. You see by the way it looks anyway. And then put this back down. So that needs to be put back in place. And then now it says to take this down angle. So, so it looks like this. Again, more welcome to go watch others. I am not the only person who does this, and I know there's a guy who have professional setups. You're seeing mine straight from the box. The heartache and the pains I go through. Because if anything happens, you get to see it happen. If you want to see it live, you can follow me on Twitch. I do them there live, and then I upload them to YouTube as an archive there. And you can watch them there. And I try to get these up. And sometimes I forget to put some up, and then I'll put them up later. Because I concentrate mostly on the D&D stuff. So... You got to be patient sometimes with me. Just kind of hit a comment. Hey, did you happen to do that one up? Or, hey, did you have a problem with the video or something? Or just even ask me if I have those bots. And I can, I don't mind like showing them on stream. So if I'm done with these, you just kind of hit me up and remind me, hey, by the way, sure. I don't mind because I want you to be able to see, hey, do I want this bot? Is it worth it? Because I'm getting certain ones I do like. I'm actually really enjoying this Armada Megatron. I do have Armada Starscream, and I just recently, uh, my uh, great friend, uh, God, man, I can't talk today. My great friend, Space Ghost Dave, who DMs the Destiny campaign, I sent him a Armada Starscream because he deserved one. He likes them, and I wanted to get him something because he's been a really great help to me and a great friend and all, so... Uh, let me see. I was on the step. I just didn't turn it. So these right here it says to what? Okay, I'm confused. Okay. Confused. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? It's talking about these in the instruction. I did that. We're talking about this thing? Wait, it's right here somewhere. Hang on, let me take a look here. Okay, but it says not to move that. Oh, okay, that comes loose. All right, so this black piece does move. There we go. Down and underneath. There we go. Ta -da. And then we go and keep open. And then it says to do these up like this. Oh, see, these do come off. Don't worry. They're pegged. They're pegged in place. Okay. Gotta find them. There we go. Okay. There we go. Baja, if you see this, same one. Okay, I did that. I pushed them down and into place. So they're, they're down and in place. <coughs> And now we flip out these panels here. Oops. Uh, again, I don't have fingernails for this stuff. There we go. These panel gray or blackish gray panel. There we go. So we sit out like that. Now with that, the inside are his arms. Ta-da! Now I am not one with finger. Again, don't have finger for this. Okay. I'll do this. There we go. I'm not digging into it. I'm actually just trying to pry it forward. So we're bringing these down. I'm going to pop his hands out. I know it's probably going to Wow, his hands look gnarly, man. Let me see if I can get this one out of that. Nope. I don't have the thing for it. So I'm gonna, there's a gap here. I'm going to use this. 
There we go. So there is a bit of a gap. So if you have like a small screwdriver or something, pop it out. So we're going to do that. And then there we go. Oops. I didn't want to do that. So I'm bringing his arm down. Oh, wow. He's got like gnarly hands. There we go. I'm going to assume those pop back shut. Let me see. Yeah, they do shut. Okay, and then these flip back down. Okay. Now the chest plate. Oh, there we go. Pull this whole thing. Bet you that folds down like so, and then get pushed back up. Yep. <laughs> There's a modern Megatron's head. Is there a. What's this? Almost looks like a button or something. Huh. There's our Mono Megatron. And then I know there's a couple of things you can do with him. Baja shows me. A couple things. So his turret on the back, the Baja showed me this stuff too. Literally what it can do is pivot around and it's Oh, pull up, pull up, like that, oh, there it is, so it opens up his waist, and what that does is it allows the turret to, oops, swing around, and he can literally, now, the, oops, shh, hockey mushroom, excuse me, I apologize, there we go, that is supposed to come out, and you can, Rotate it like so. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do this. So, pop that back down. There's that. We're going to swivel it back. So, make sure you tip the uh, turret down when you do this. And then swing it back around, bringing his torso back around, and then you, he shrinks back down a little bit. And uh, make sure his arms go down, stay down, because I'm having a little trouble with that. I don't know what's going on, why is it? I think that's just the way it's sitting, it's being a pain in my butt. It's a pain in my butt. Alright, there we go. So, back to that. So, with all that, you can also like bring this up and yeah, up and around. And then you can also take this off of here and it's got five millimeter peg, not the hole, but peg hole. And now he can, there we go, blast away. So he has multiple objects. This mode right here reminds me of uh, G1 Megatron in this. I have G1 Megatron in the drawer, uh, or in the drawer. He's in a cat case right now with Optimus G1 and all that. Um, his reason why is this kind of makes me think is when his transform state, his barrel of his pistol mode uh, sits like this underneath. It's the dorkiest looking transform bot that I have, but he is wildly uh most expensive i think almost in some cases bot as well so so there's our mana our made armada megatron here I'll put this back and this do not do please do not force that that will break it see it will not and if you go this way it only stops to here so please warning you do not do that because it'll break it and you don't want to break your stuff i don't want to hurt oh yeah but i want to see his hands do this designed to hold and then he's got the regular fist like most of them do it's nice a little aesthetic though they put on certain ones like this so so i'm gonna leave him in bot mode now but he's gonna get set off the side too being with dirge and grimlock uh, not the G, the other one. Okay. 
So let me grab some more to munch on real quick. Um, I'm hungry in the cell. Okay. So, but <laughs> Let me check something real quick. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. Most interesting. Hmm. Next spot I have is a very big one, so I might have to adjust the camera a lot. Yeah, she's very big. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just getting the last big bot. <laughs> oh, this box is way big. So here's Nemesis. He's very big. Sorry, the box is a little sticky. I had a soda incident a couple of days ago. But oh, I'm gonna turn the box around. All right, there we go. Ugh. But uh, sorry for the camera movement again. But here she is. Had her for about a week now. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm turning the box around. All right, I'm going to put her on my lap, kind of. Um, we need to re wipe this box down. <laughs> but, got to get her out of the box. Oh, yes. And if you see up on the screen there, our YouTube channel that we've been using, it's my channel, but. Yeah, there are links in here. You can click on that. It'll take you to other links. There's sort of our podcast in there. So let me move them. Cursor go. So there's sort of our podcast is down in there. But there are many other links down here that'll take you like uh, Heximus, sort of our. They have a pot, uh, Spotify spot as well. Uh, there's Space Ghost Dave's channel and Frosted Merc, which is Mercer in our campaigns as well. So you can also check them out as well. And I'm going to get hurt by this box because this box is huge. It is just as big as the Ark. Eh. Work, how dare you say that. I've been contending with ants still, like today. We went in and did nothing check. Huh. All right. Oh, my God. Huge. Just like the Ark's box. Let's see if she's in her ship form or not, though. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm bumping cables and stuff. It's, it's, it's very big. Oh, she's in ship form too. Holy crap. There we go. All right. Oh my god. All right. I think she's upside down. No, she's not. She's just big. So I'm going to raise this camera up, so give me a second, you guys are going to take a trip. And lock this up here, got some height, there you go, so you can see this is containing lots of stuff. So It is very big, it is just like the Ark. Um, but I think she's almost bigger than he is. Ugh. There we go. Lots of cardboard. I gotta keep all that too, because if I have to put them in boxes temporarily to move them. Oh, here's the instructions. Now there should be small parts over here. So I gotta look for those. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow. I'm already checking without the detail. Um, where's my other tool? Where'd it go? There we go. Hit. This splits open. All right. So let's do this. I am going. I have run out of table space already. Woo. All right. Okay, that's one. This is two. Okay. All right. I found the small pieces are over here in this part of the box. Right, so I don't think that's too good. I think yeah, that's just sleeping. Okay, I found all the I'm gonna reach up through here. Ta-da! More pieces. Okay. There might be more, so always be careful with them. Especially these big ones. Yep, there is more pieces in here. So when I say there's more pieces, there is more pieces. That's why I say, don't get rid of all your boxes so quickly. <laughs> all right, let me. Oh, well, it comes out the end on this one. And I think this one came too. Right. So, the other pieces. You cowed! You bit me. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, this is only a part of it. <laughs> okay. Big chunk of the box is out of my way. Holy cow. Okay. Whew. Ah, I just knocked the instructions off. Excuse me. Instructions. <laughs> and then what's in here? So I'm going to be careful with this. Because the arc came with some pieces that I was like really careful. And this one should come with, yep, here's a bunch of small pieces. Small pieces. A couple. There's more in here. In a couple pieces. Even three there. There's still more. I'm unfolding this slowly. There we go. Okay. Right, set that there. All right, the rest are all in. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Cybertrodium. Yeah, all the last guns. So I'm not going to take them off yet. I'll leave them on there while I'm doing this because. I gotta now look at the instructions because I do not want to mess her up. And I want to see what she looks like put together as a ship, as Nemesis. Okay. So I need to, I'm gonna move this stuff down out of the way. It says to flip her over. Oh my god. There is a huge section down here. Okay. That is for this so there here and here there's the gaps that are the uh, things just slides it in place and then you can and it should and if it says in the instructor it's popping up us so there's large pegs on here oh. <laughs> give it a piece back all right i should be able to <clears throat> holy crap this stands way taller on my desk. It's way past. And now for the wing pieces, this piece up. So this is the side that's pointed toward me. I have it nosed up. It shows the instructions this way. But if you look, there's a little round thing right here. And it says to pop them into place. Let me make sure there's nothing else there. There we go. Oh, that's easy. There. And then it should get the ability to rotate. 
So make sure. Oh, they have volume sides up, no matter, I guess. Doesn't show anything different. They got peg going either. So same thing. There we go. Oh my goodness. She is massive. So we undo these little. See these. I just folded them out, so I'll do the same thing here. Let's see it. So it's like that. There we go. And then, sorry, somebody's finding something funny in the other room. These pieces, it says to up here at the front. So I'm going to tip her down so you can see up here. Just have the. Okay. Okay, this. This one particularly goes on this side and it pops right in. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Oops, that should be it. And then there's another groove right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Oops. Put it in back in first, it's easier. Shit, there it goes. There we go. Pop it in. Now they're both in, so nice and smooth. Uh, top part here is not sitting properly. I don't know why. Uh... Oh, there we go. Popped into place. Her front end is actually pretty nice looking, though. Got some nice decoration going on. Oh my god. She's got some weight, though. Now, oops. There is another piece. It did not say to put this on here yet. Okay, so this up here opens up and this is to open these side compartments here. So the little little compartments right here, this little so beneath the uh, bridge part. And what it is, is it's supposed to be for, oh, sweet. This is part of the, uh, okay, how does it come out? They're like the docking and everything. So I want to pop these guys out real quick. So I'm just going to do this gently, work them back and forth a couple times, and they come out. Now there's the seeker. Tiny little thing. Get them all off here. Ow! One stabby stabby my fingy. Oh, that's that one. And then there's this one. So I got all four off. Let me take the curve to move out of the way. So I'm gonna break the camera. This was just a little looser when I do this. Oh crap. Uh oh. What did I do? Did I bump the cables? Hang on, so apologies. I might have bumped a cable and it uh, yanked it out by accident. All right, give me a sec. Ow. Thank you. Let me fix my camera. <laughs> I do not know why it's doing this now. There it goes. Uh, it must have just disconnected it for some reason, and I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Turn on mine. So this in here, this panel, um, I do not have a way to grab that with my fingers. So, kind of drench in here. Ah, do that. Pull it out. And what this does, if you look at these pegs and stuff, this enables you to connect up to other things if you have the set up other sets where you can make it look like it's um, ready to uh, be a station or whatnot. So you take these little guys, you can mount them right on here. Like this. So it's a little tiny little thing. Now you can put these elsewhere on her 
and it'll look really cool. Now, this is one side, but now I should be able to, yeah, see, and I can slide them inside and out. And so for now, I'm going to put them in there and do this. And it, what that does is just, it's a hanger. And I love the uh, window look. So we're going to do the same thing as it over here. So I'm going to, and this isn't really tight in there, so I'm not having to grab that really hard. So I'm not going to be able to do it. But, oops. This does, if it comes out, see it should kind of lock, but it does come down like a ramp. So, if you see, it swivels down like a ramp. So I'm going to put these little guys on here. On the peg hole. And they hold on pretty good, so I don't have to worry about them popping off anytime soon. I just wish they had a little color. I thought these guys were going to have a tiny bit of color. That's okay. I don't mind. So I'm going to put them back in there. Close it. All right. Now, after we do that, and we can slide them back in is what it says, and it closes them. Okay, now we got to take all those turrets. I'm going to get them out. Get every one of them. I'm just fitting them around. You don't have to cut them free. Um, you can always take a little file or something to get the little peg head, the little sharp edges sometimes, and just gently file them down. Do not go too aggressive, because you can damage it. So that leaves nothing else on here. Ooh, that's fun about that. That's quite for part of it. No, it isn't. So, now, for the turrets, 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 they are on the front end of this, so I'm gonna. I'm not having her lay down on the instructions because it's harder to deal with. So you see all the ports. Do do do. So what it says to do is to take round one. You have three round and three square, and you can put these like so. You can position them. You can pose them. You can make them look. So if you're moving this thing around a lot, pay attention. Oh, and there is one right there. So you can put tur up here. Tur I say it here. You put two here. You can see they're squared out more for these ports. There we go. So there we go. So all the guns are on board. Now the last piece is antenna mast and such for the bridge and everything which oh, i don't know where that goes but the way this is positioned you set it right over top of it so you can actually still rotate this back and forth a bit which is actually kind of cool there we go so now oh god she's so freaking oh, oh shoot sorry my bad camera bounce bounce there you go so come on there we go there's the turrets in place. Turrets. Tur this, I don't know. It's a gap of some sort. And I don't remember that. Much. But oh my god, she's heavy. Arc is heavy too. I'm going to have them positioned at some point. I'm not going to find spots for them though. Yes, I don't want it. Alright, so we're going to try and transform her big butt. And I'm not saying that in a rude way. Just saying she's big. Um, oh, that's right. The bottom piece here that I attached, there is a split in it for a reason. So it's so she can land. So it opens up. Now, if I, oh, God, you're heavy. Oh, there we go. Now, she will actually sit and back end here. I'm going to tip down. Back here, there's another one of those ramps and it folds down. So you can do 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 and they walk in and out. So it's kind of cool. And she's cool. So, okay, first things. I'm gonna stand her back up because it says to actually have her standing. So I'm gonna fold this back. There we go. Pops all back together. Ta-da. So I'm gonna try and keep her in camera shot, but she is very big. And again, I don't have a full set to do this on. And I will do my best to show you my pain and anguish as I do this. So, step one is up at the top. 
from this side. We're going to look at her right in here. She's our top open anyway. And wow, I like that. It's the same on both sides. That's thin. I don't like that yet. So, hmm. It says to fold these up. At least out. They should be out of an angle like this, it says. But And then the whole nose here somehow splits open. Oh. Yeah, so the nose of this. Oh, her front nose cone here is actually like a soft rubbery silicone. So if you do run into somebody or something. It won't hopefully damage too much. This is heavy. <clears throat> All right, jeez. Okay, says to, there's a like a peg opening or opening here. Okay, hang on. It says to open it there. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing this right. Oh my god, is that new? Gotta be. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. This is tough. Holy moly. Okay, hang on. So this whole section here should open up. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, I'm going to flip it around so you can see the bottom. I'm doing down here and popping her open. That sounds wrong. This should. Okay. There it goes. Okay. So, trying to open these parts up here. So, I'm going to up. Trying to open up this part on the bottom first a little bit. I'm noticing that helped a lot. Give it a wiggle, wiggle. A wiggle, wiggle. Get over arm here, maybe, or leg. Let me part this in some arm. <clears throat> oh man, this is giving me a workout. Oh. There we go. Lots of ratchet parts. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay, we're coming to this side. There we go. That was a lot, a lot easier from this side. So, do 180. And bring it around. <laughs> Whoops, I just knocked off. It was flying. Uh, sorry, dude. I'm going to have to move over here now. All right. Whew. Uh, my hand hurt. Take this, and it folds over this way. Oh, my hands. Take the tower, it says to bring back. Look ahead. And it says bring up head. Bring it up. Push this back up. Okay. okay, there's a slot. Oh, this right here. There's a slot down inside, right? Right there. You're supposed to bring this kind of. Uh, there we go. Found it. Wow, don't shoot yourself with a bag of head. Ouch. Jesus. So. Holy crap. Okay, tell me your head opens up a bit more or something. Huh. Yeah. It's a little odd. Uh, I'm going to keep going. So, we take this whole top part, and it says to grab here. Yeah. Come so, oh. so, now we're flipping it around here. So, we're going to go back to the back piece, this piece that we attached. Let's do it. Give me a stroke. Oh. Wow, that's loose. Okay. It says to bring up so so okay bring it up rotate it around 
bring it down onto this. There's a thing back here. And this. So, should, there we go. Lock onto the back. And that is the, and then you do the same thing. Pull these out. She's starting to look a little more. I think she's supposed to, there we go. Yeah, she does have head movement and actually move her head. Okay, so I 180 her around to face me. I wasn't looking. She is a bit, yes, transforming, yes. So it says to open these up and actually, there we go. Oh. Pop the legs apart. So we're going to look at the legs. She is a bit of a pain, but I think kind of like the arc, you kind of get used to once you do it. So I'm following the instructions as much as I can. So at the bottom, we're kind of lift her down like this. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Don't. Whoa. Okay. On the inside here, bring down, bring it out, I think that way, yep. Okay, and then do the same thing. And we can actually kill, can't pull them out. And actually, I think we're supposed to put them out like this. Did I just do something? I don't know what I did. There we go. Okay, I got her feet down. Okay, so step. Okay, we're gonna grab her and step her back up. Oh my god, she's heavy. Pull her leg. Holy crap. Down. Pull her leg down. And they do lock in those notches, I feel. Oh, she's standing on her own. Okay. Thank you for killing my hands. Ouch. Did I not finish the chest or something? I thought I did. Hang on. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's inside the tooth out there? These right here. Technically, are supposed to. Oh, I'm seeing. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I'm just seeing something that I'm not dealing with just yet. Okay, so I got her feet down. I got them like this, and it says to this way. Yes, this way. Oh God. Fall on me. Okay. You just kind of tip that way. <laughs> Don't fall on me. It's sucking right now. <laughs> okay. Take these pieces, fold them in, fold like so. Again, grab, fold in, like so. And the little pieces here, you do the same thing. We'll just kind of get there. And then... Am I supposed to do what? Oh. 180. Oh my and take these. Hold them back down. And... This is where these parts get rotated. Turn. Turn. So. And then they split open too. So while using those, ta da! There's five millimeter ports. So if you can't get these like that, I'm going to use these. There we go. Ta da! And they should 
Why turn it around again? Unnecessary and unneeded. I want to show you this. I rotated this torso once. This is actually not needed. So now we're back to here. It's a little irritating when they do that stuff. Unnecessary rotations. I understand it might be for something, but to be honest, that was not necessary to me. It was a waste of movement space and time for that to do. And mm, my own personal opinion, just didn't like it. Okay. Now, we're coming back up to the torso. These technically should have been still like this. But I wiggled them out of place. Let me see. I wiggled these out of place so I could get the separation. So... So technically they should be still where they're at, but they're not. So I already put this down here where it should be. So I flipped this down fully. Whoopee. Yay. No, these fold down. And it would be best if you kind of swung the arm out when you do this. Just kind of there, like that. And then do this. Because see, you'll smack these. I just did that. And then I flipped this panel by accident open on each of these, at least on this one already. So you kind of got to see. And then flip these hands around. Like so. And then bring this one around like so. And then we are going to rotate and hands. Look at how the heck do you rotate? Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Okay. It says to. Okay, go the other direction and it works. Okay. So go this way. Weird. Alright. She's got thumbs and fingers. That's yay. And then she'll be able to flip these back down. Now, it says on the chest plate here, grab here. Da, ta da, Septicon symbol. I hope your head does the same thing. It does. So there are multiple pieces on her head. So, bring your camera over here. Oh, <laughs> hi. Somebody just came in to see uh, Nemesis here. Really close. <laughs> Now, this is the last one I'm doing, then I gotta get ready for that. So, we we'll pull this up. There's her eyes. And then it says to pull this and pull this. There we go. And then. Uh, these pieces can come off. Oops, let me back it up. So you can see. Sorry, the camera's at an angle again. So, these pieces that I attached, they're popped in, they pop back out. They become like little sword blades. Um, you can put them in our hands and they make like... These look like tiny flags. Don't bother. It looks dorky and stupid. Now, while she's like this, those ports that are on the side of her arm where the hangers are, ta-da! She can actually deploy them and I don't have again grab it oops you can actually deploy them in this state so yeah she literally is a station battle station now she also has these that come off what I just attached. I wouldn't do this too often, but Oops. that is not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Ah, there we go. Thankfully, they just pop back in. So, take this. Okay. 
Oh, the thing in my butt right now, and I'm getting irritated. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't do this. I'm not going to take it off because it looks like the only thing. I can get one of them to come off. There we go. Okay, so we take these off. This right here. Uh, there we go. Comes out like so. And what that enables is for her to keep that down like that. Keep them. You can actually fold these the other way as well. But I'm trying to remember right. Wait a minute. Did it say? To see this end piece right here. Good. There it goes. There it is. Folds out. There we go. That is the meekest looking. Okay. So, to help her hold this, see the peg holes? There's pegs on her arm. You line them up. And if you let me. Okay. There's peg holes, but there's also a slot piece for her arm and everything, and it's... Okay. Mm -hmm. It should slide when it in there, and then when it pops up over like so, and now she looks like she's got a big old cannon, and I'll back this up so a bigger shot so you can see it. Let's see? That is the biggest little king I've ever seen. And yes, you can put stuff in the end. This, sadly, did not come with the neat little stuff that, like, the Ark did. Um, or little glass stuff and cutesy little things like that. Um, oh, jeez, found the camera out. So, in other words, this stuff. That enhances the blaster. Whoops. So, none of this came with us. So, no dis real display. I guess there's no blasting. Yeah, kind of. They are difficult to get off of here. Because once you pop them in place, I really don't know if I'd want to pop them back off very often because see this is all that holds it right here and too much taking on and off it's going to break it eventually so i don't know how often i would do that but yeah literally you can oops if you're not me hold these back the right way there we go thankfully everything pops off here but you can. Put these back here. You know, she looks pretty badass as is. And. Um, hang on. Uh, let me see. I will try this. Yep. So. If you can get. Oops. i push that panel back in. So there is a spot in the back. You shine a, nobody saw that. If you shine a light in the right spot, there's a spot back there. You can actually make it look like your eyes light up. Yeah, sometimes these will pop out fairly easy. So there, we go. there are pegs that hold. So she is a immense size. But I need to finish with this. And I'll probably transform her back later. Right now, she's going to have to stay like this. She is pretty massive. And I need to get to bed. This is about 8.30 my time. But I wanted to get these done. So there is the, like I said, the mini Optimus and the Bumblebee. And it does have a little roller inside. So, And I like this Optimus because it gave him a shield with his battle axe and everything. And roller, which is even better. So, and like I said, there's the two versions I have of Bumblebee. And then we have Dirge. 
Seeker. He actually is not bad looking at all. He looks like really off coloring in there, but he's actually a really nice color to him. I like it. And then I also picked up a Dave. I, I talked about him earlier. I picked him up today. He was in the store. Armada Megatron. So, and he does exactly what Bajas does. So, tells me. So, uh, you have a good night at work, Dave. I am going to go to bed. I'm going to turn that light off. Easy. Um, working on a lot of stuff still. Uh, mainly taking care of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I got to show anybody who wanted to see this. I know everybody can go elsewhere to see them. I just enjoy playing around with them. Again, you get to see my heartache of opening them out of the box, suffering through trying to transform them, <laughs> and just getting everything from start to finish. And you see the transformations. <laughs> Holy crap. And like I said, if you want to catch a lot of our past episodes, go to uh, the YouTube channel which is down in the links down below. And then this Friday coming up, uh, hopefully we'll have our Dungeons and Destiny campaign at 4 p.m. Pacific time, thereabouts. We might start a little late, depending. We try and get a lot of the players in. Um, uh, you can catch Sword of Bar podcast. You can check their links out. Like I said, they're all right here and everything, so you get to see it. But yeah, here's... I have playlists of all these for our sessions and everything, so please check them out. If the other guys are streaming, like Space Ghost Dave, who's in the chat right now, it's down on Bork for the sounds of things. Oh, okay. So we'll be only, hopefully, down one player. Ah, <laughs> oh, we don't need Bork. He's just going to shoot me in the butt anyway. <laughs> not letting it go that easy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at 4 p.m. Pacific, check us out for Dungeons & Destiny, and then next Friday, oops, um, you uh, hopefully will get to do another transformer session. It's not, nothing happens during the time. Uh, so we alternate the sessions. So come check us out for those. Uh, but yeah, Space Ghost Dave, his link's down below. Frosted Merc, which is also known as Mercer. He does campaigns. He usually streams on a, every other Saturday. Uh, so check him out. You can follow them. And when they stream, you get to be notified. Check them out. And like this video if you like it, don't like it, don't have to do anything. You comment, say if you want to see a Transformer, I may have it, and I'll show it on stream. And then you get to see it again. Otherwise, you can look through the list of my unboxings, and a lot of times I have them pretty well labeled in the YouTube channel side of things, so you can find them through that list. Uh, I'm trying to be consistent with them, but it's kind of hard when stuff doesn't come in when I would like it to. And it should have been here like a week ago, and it takes all extra week. You know, all that fun shipping stuff. But Nemesis, she's going to say bye for now. I'm going to say she because to uh, my understanding, she was she. So they can bite me on it. Hey, you too, Dave. Have a good night at work. I'll uh, talk to you later. And for everybody else, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you're out in the world. Be safe out there. People be crazy. Yep. Yeah, see she was crazy. Bye everyone. <laughs>